All right, everybody. One more video for the day. Hold on, let me save Tyler from the blanket. <laughs> okay, last video of the day. We're gonna do our heel snap, the heel snap. So this is in the level three um, balance beam routine. So we're first gonna get our calf muscles nice and strong. So we're gonna do heel rises. Um, put your hands on your hips, and you can use the, um, a mat or the, a step stool, or you can do them on the floor, okay? So you can do them like this. You wanna go up fast, down slow. Up fast, down slow. Or you can do them on a surface so that your heels drop even lower. So up fast, down slow. Up fast, down slow. Okay, do about 25 or more until you feel a good burn. Okay, I'm not counting, so let's say 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Notice that kind of pop up and then go down. Pop up, down. Pop up, down. Then you want to do the reverse. So you want to do he, um, toe flexes. And you're going to just flex your feet without shoving your butt back. And this works the front of your shins now. And you want to do the same amount, same number. And if you want to do them on the other surface, then you hang your toes off now and you flex. Oh my god, do it. And you keep going, keep your knees super straight. And again, I'm not counting, but you want to do 25 about. Do the same number. So whatever you do on the other way, you do it this way too. Okay, so now we're going to do it in posse. Hello, Brandon, I'm here. Okay, so you're going to stand on your favorite leg. Okay, so I'm a righty. I'm going to stand on my right leg. I'm going to bring my left leg up into posse and you want the knee high. And you're just gonna do it with your hands on your hips to start. So you're gonna do calf raises, okay? Let's do three. Now we're gonna turn. So you're gonna turn the way your knee kind of crosses over your body. That's the way you turn. So you're gonna go quarter turn, balance. Quarter turn, balance. Quarter turn, and quarter turn. Okay, and those are the heel rises. Now let's do the other leg, so we don't want just one big, strong calf muscle, we want them to be even. So now stand on your other opposite leg, which would be my left, and bring up your right leg into the posse, make sure the knee is high. I always say you should be able to put a glass of water on your leg without it spilling. And let's do three, one. Oop, I'm not as strong on this side. Two, three, and now you go the way that the leg crosses over you, so I'm gonna turn this way now. So one, quarter turn, quarter turn, Whoop. Okay, quarter turn, quarter turn. Ah! Hold on, I gotta save Tyler again. Trying to play with his sister's dollhouse. Okay. So now let's incorporate the arm. So now just pick your favorite leg and your arm. Your favorite arm is bent in a crown, forward crown. I always say bring it in front of your chest and pull it out. Your other arm is straight. Okay, stand on that favorite leg. And we're gonna do the quarter turns again by just bringing the arm in and back out. So ready, quarter, stop, open up, quarter, stop, open up, quarter, stop, oops, open up, quarter, stop. Okay, now the left way, you're gonna try it. Does not hurt to know how to do everything on both legs. It makes you nice and strong. Okay, so you stand on your left, bend the left arm, okay? Pull up that leg, and now we go the other way. Quarter, arm back out. Quarter, arm back out. Quarter, arm back out. And quarter. Whoa, okay. Anyway, so now you're gonna do the half. So just pick your favorite leg again. Favorite arm in front, opposite arm is out, okay? This is the opposite leg, favorite leg. Now I'm gonna do a half. So now turn all the way, half. Pull up the leg 
again. And ha! <laughs> don't judge my turning ability. Okay, now the other way. I don't practice these normally. I teach, I do not do. Okay, now you're gonna turn the other way. This is the lefty way. So I'm gonna do a, a half now, no more quarters, half. Half turn, open, whoop, and half, okay? <laughs> kind of embarrassing. All right, so now those are how we do the half heel snaps. So now the next step is to be really good at our pivot turns. So go up into a high crown, and I, I tell my kids to touch their fingers so that the arms don't go like this or not too close to the head. Up high, touch the fingers just very lightly. Soft shoulders, long neck, and your heels touch. I said they kiss. They're in a locked position. And now you turn, squeeze, and just turn back. Okay? And now put the other foot in front. Make sure your feet are touching, your thighs are squeezing together, arms are still in the crown, and pivot and pivot back. All right, so now, last step of the heel snap is you're gonna try to go heel snap and to a lock position. So, my favorite side is this way. I'm gonna go pivot or heel snap, lock. All right, let's do it again this way. Same leg again. So you're gonna do a pivot or a heel snap to a lock. All right. <laughs> Let's do a couple more of those. Let me see if I can get better at them. So you're in that position, beginning position, long neck, arms, strong bottom knee. Don't let that bottom knee bend. And half heel snap, lock. Okay, then after the lock, and you got it strong, then you just do a pivot. Okay, I'm moving all over the place. Okay, let me try the left side. So stand on the left leg. This would be your favorite leg, this would be your opposite leg, favorite arm, opposite arm, okay? And you're gonna do the half heel snap to a lock and pivot. Ooh. Okay, let's do that side again. So favorite leg, opposite leg, favorite arm, opposite arm. Ready, and snap to a lock and pivot. I am not good at those pivots. I will practice. Everyone else should practice as well. All right, so those are the heel snap drills. Key things, make sure that that leg that's up, you can put a glass of water on it if you wanted to, that you don't have what we call a tail where the foot hangs out behind, that the toe is up to the side of the leg, that the bottom leg is super straight, and that you're not bending the knee to help yourself turn, that it's just literally a calf raise, heel rise, um, arms, shoulders stay down low, and the arms just come in and out, don't twist. Um, what else? When you're in the high crown, not a droopy crown, but up high and tall with that long neck. And again, I like my fingers to touch in the crowns. It just helps the um, kind of guide your hands where to go. Um, and I think that's mostly it, right Taylor? All right, so that's the level three heel snap drills for the balance beam. Don't judge how much I wobbled, just means I need to practice more.